Oh, get off, you little. Mm-hmm. Yeah, meet Jack. Mm-hmm. Um, our lives have been tortured. Turned upside down. <laughs> so we've had Jack two weeks to them tomorrow. Jack is a three-year-old Labrador, and he started his life off sniffing, sniffing out for bodies and lorries for, for the alive bodies. Yeah. On border force in France. Yeah. He had early retirement from the border force, and he went to a rehoming centre where they tried to retrain him into a different working line. Um, he didn't make the cut because he's off his head. Mm-hmm. He spent six months in the rehoming centre trying to be retrained, and then the next six months being rejected by the public basically because he's a little bit Clearly. wired. So, in walkers, and now we've got a crazy Labrador that doesn't stop called Jack. What are you doing? You're gonna get well tangled up there, lad. Hey. Yeah. Sit. Jack, sit. 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 So due to Jack's French connection, we think his name might be, might even be Jacques. So he's Jacques Cousteau. <laughs> and if you know what I'm talking about in French, you know. Jack's never been a pet in a home, so he's had a hell of a lot to deal with. Yeah, he has. Reflections off a knife when the sun shines through the window. Headbutting kitchen cupboards trying to catch that reflection. Shadows when you've got the lights on at night. Chasing the bloody shadows. Took him to the beach yesterday. Um, said I had a little bit of a lazy day after a few beers. Yeah, so I went to see my mum in North Wales and took him to Pembermile Beach. With, it's renowned for being pretty quiet, long, and a good dog walking beach. Uh, the wind was horrendous, but he met his first razor clamshell. <laughs> Went off his head. Didn't quite know what to do with it, did you, boy? Oh, stop it. He was even wary about waves. Waves coming in. He was constantly. <laughs> he just didn't know what to do about anything. Every single. It's almost like everything in life is new to him. Mm. We've uh, we've brought him to the forest today to try and tire him out. We've just done about three and a half miles, and he loved it. He's just. He's he's his his prey drive is immense. He chases birds, chases squirrels. He's a very, very clever dog. Very, very energetic dog. And he'll walk all over it if you let him. We need to find ways of mentally stimulating him. Tiring him out is fairly easy because his recall is fairly good. Here. Yeah. Here. <clears throat> yeah. Sit. Good boy. I think we might need to get him on some sort of agility course. Definitely need some obedience training. We have got in touch with somebody, but they haven't come back to us yet. But Jack is going to be part of our camper van life moving forward. Hopefully. <laughs> We've got some plans this year. We want to do some like long distance several day treks. And we're just hoping that Jack is good in a tent. We just have to test these things out. Camping wise, there might be a couple of weeks off because we're just trying to get this lad settled, get him to know who his owners are. No, no, we don't kiss. But yeah, so the sun, Saturday and Sunday before we picked Jack up, we picked him up two weeks ago tomorrow. Mm. We were at the cottage 
in Wales. And yeah. I just want to say thank you very much to everyone who came because I was so nervous before and but I had a really, really lovely time. Yeah, there's some good people there, great really dogs nice. as well. We didn't do a video on the for the, for the cottage because number one, we didn't want to. No, stay. No, that stay. We didn't want to put a camera in people's faces. And we actually just wanted to enjoy the experience. Mm. I do apologise for anyone who did come because I wasn't quite myself because I was up till half four the night before drinking a bit too much. So I was absolutely knackered. But it was good, it was great, everyone was lovely. It was a good experience. A few drinks, some food. Even in the morning everyone went into the kitchen and we all cooked breakfast, it was fab. Jack's it. Good boy. Yeah, it was really good. We had nice food and drink in the night time for a little walk. The weather on Sunday was fantastic. It's a bit of a shame that we were leaving really, wasn't it? But mm -hmm. it was Dad's birthday and we had to go see him. But yeah, it was just really, really nice. And um, there was a couple there that have got a YouTube channel called Camp of Unhappitude. They did they didn't in-depthly film it, but they, they captured bits of it. So yeah, yeah. does want to see it. And it's a funny video channel. as well. It's a funny video. We did put a, a link to it on our uh, community about, about a week or so ago, but if you haven't if you haven't seen it, go and have a look. It's it's really well put together and it's funny. It, it is funny. A lot funnier than this pain in the ass dog trying to get into the front of the van. Yeah. So you will see much more of Jack in the future. If Hopefully he's even better behaved. Yeah. It can't get much worse behaved. Well, to be fair, we've touched quite lucky. He sleeps really well at night. He hasn't chewed anything yet, touch wood. And he doesn't go in the house, he's toilet trained. He's, yeah, he, he waits till the morning before he goes out to the toilet, although his tail is curling there, so I think he might need a poo. Thank you very much for tuning in to see our idiotic purchase. Yeah, what were we thinking? <laughs> but hopefully, he'll be a star of the show in the future. Yeah, definitely. So you'll come back soon and you'll see us camping with him. Yeah. Jack, sit. <laughs> Good boy. Say au revoir, Jacques Cousteau.